guys, we are K-Popsis, back at you with another video. I'm Megan. I'm Brianna. And we are sisters, super into K-Pop. But this is not K-Pop, it is P-Pop. And you better recognize, because I know that question's coming in here, I've been told. Oh. There's that stupid K-Pop question in here. Mm. No, 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 I'm, I'm already mad. See, I'm already heated. We can't get into this video. We have stalled on this video. Of course, we have not seen it, but I've heard plenty. We come from about this time, so. Better watch it. We heard, we've heard plenty. <laughs> it's been a while since I was told a lot of the questions that they were asked here, so I can't really pinpoint, but I know that stupid K-pop question is coming up and <clears> okay. <throat> <clears throat> I do have to warn, I don't know how mad this is gonna make me, but if I cry, it's not because I'm sad, it's because I'm fuming and ready to punch somebody. Every emotion of mine is tied to my tear ducts. I can't help it. If I'm happy, I cry. If I'm sad, I cry. If I'm mad, I cry. It's the worst. But anyways, this is SB19 moments that are just too painful to watch. Oh, a lot so of y'all, a lot of y'all have requested. I think something similar to this video. I don't think it was exactly this one, but this one came out a few weeks ago. Liza commented on it, and so people are like bringing it up again. Like, please react to this. So here we are. Y'all like want to see us punch somebody or something? Cause it'll happen. I will knock this camera yeah. over. I mean, I won't do that. My camera is. If I hear anyone talk bad about XB19, they're gonna get it. <sighs> Wish us luck. Here we go. I'm nervous. Me too. Oh, you already. <laughs> okay. Pero kanina pa ako bothered. Ano ba yan? Stand up my eyes, man. Na lang kasi style yan. What? They're dressed the same. I'm sorry. 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 I'm
<laughs> because I have things to say and I'm pretty sure this whole video is talking. I don't want to talk over anything. Okay, for one, how dare you? Of course, that's definitely the first thing I gotta say. I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? Okay, the second thing I have to say, how is that any of your business? That is not your business. That is not just something you ask people. That's insanely rude. Yeah. That's crazy rude. And also to insinuate it, that's even ruder. That's just insanely rude. This person is on my bad list. And I don't even know what they look like. I don't know what you look like, sir, but don't let me find out what you look like. Cause third, the Stella thing. How does that even Okay, if a person's gay, that does not mean that they have to change their name to a feminine name or a masculine name. They would just be gay. So, that makes no sense. Like, this guy's just intentionally trying to be rude. You're rude, sir. You're real rude. Not even sir, you're rude. You are rude. How dare you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. It's okay, Josh has his back. Like... Yeah, I feel like what Josh is saying right now is making I don't know. That's rude. Yeah. That's crazy rude. I don't even know. Like, who in their right mind? It's almost as if this guy thinks just because this is a press conference. Yeah, and, and if he's, he's press, he you can ask funny, whatever you want. It's if not funny. If he thinks funny. it's funny, he's not. It's he's not, not being funny. funny. It's, no. There's like a certain limit to like having humor, and he basically crossed the line. Yeah. So. It sounds like he's trying to be funny. You're not funny. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Do you even know what bromance means? Because I don't think it means what you think it means. What did they say? I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, I saw something about Korean something. It's none of your business. Yeah, like that's their personal business. Bromance doesn't mean what you think it means. <laughs> yeah, that's just a given. <sighs> Stupid question. This is the dumbest way I have ever seen this question asked. I have to throw that out. And that's not because I can't stand this man. I don't even know if it's the same man. All y'all dumb. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm viewing, oh my god. <laughs> this is hands down the stupidest way I've ever heard this question asked. Yeah. Because he's talking about selling it overseas. How are you going to sell that this is P-pop? How are you going to promote P-pop when it sounds like K-pop? Pop is pop, sir. I have said this a countless amount of times. I'm just so done with the media making it seem like P-pop is K-pop. That is not the case. Pop is pop. Pop is inspired by pop music. It doesn't matter what part of the world it comes from. It's going to sound like pop music. They're gonna sound the same. It's a genre. Learn what a genre is, okay? If you don't know anything about music, don't be reporting about it. <sighs> oh my god. And like, honestly, if they think that they're like, you know, trying to like be like K-pop, they could be K-pop inspired. Like, yeah, you know? like what would be the problem with that? Yeah. That's like saying that K-pop could not be inspired by like American pop. Yeah. That makes no sense. It's pop music. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. <sighs> Okay, another thing that he said, something about how people won't know that it that is was Tagalog. Stupid. That makes me so annoyed because <laughs> you can tell, like, I don't know if I'm like, you know, misunderstanding it, but you can tell language differences. Know? Yeah, like, but even then, okay, so of course for us, we can, we could tell the difference. If you were to have showed us this song, not telling us it was Filipino, of course we probably wouldn't have known that because. Tagalog is, it's a language that's not very common here. So if yeah. we were to have heard it, 
we would have been like probably thinking that sounds a little Spanish or something. What is that? Yeah. But that's kind of anybody in the US. There's a lot of especially very close-minded people here sometimes and K-pop gets mistaken for Chinese. I kid you not. A lot of They times. don't know the difference most of the time. So regardless of if it sounds, and that's another thing, it cannot sound Filipino to us because we don't know what that sound is. Mm -hmm. OPM is not something we're familiar with, so even if their music sounded OPM, we would have no idea. Mm -hmm. It's pop music. It is pop music and it is sang in a Filipino language, so in turn, it is P-pop. Learn your genres. Okay. <laughs> My heart is racing. I am so mad right now. Don't make me catch a case. I've already caught a case. I can't even say that. I've caught a case. Here we go. Uh, honestly, po, yung music po kasi namin, uh, galing po talaga sa isang Korean producer. Pero po, kasama po kami talaga sa music production. Totoo po niya, nung nagpunta po kami, nung ipunta po kami po kami po ng Korea. Nung nag-record kami, I was amazed and interested kasi po, yung uh, My man speaking truth. Someone that knows music, unlike y'all. <laughs> not you. These Damn. people. <laughs> yeah. Sitting down there, not showing their faces. Like, if you're gonna interview someone, know your stuff. Know what you're doing. Like, Exactly. Yes! Oh my gosh! Preach! That's like my favorite saying of all time, all the time. Oh my, give it up, bro. <laughs> they don't. Yeah. Who cares? Who are you? Yeah, I'm going to get You sound triggered by something. They are not! Sorry, they're Get over it, bro! Like, you are crying over nothing! I am bothered. Shut up! No, you're being rude. It's not honest, it's rude, and it is ignorant. Oh, 
meron kasi tinatawag na front pack ang grupo nila ay yung grupo may ay ito yung pinakuha ko, ito yung sinusundan ng fans ito yung tinitilihan, tapos pinapano sila yung grupo pinapano minsan dahil lang din sa kanya wow. so hindi ba naman kayo lang sa point na sinisigasin iba yung groups pag nag-develop ito, buwa ko pa ayan lang kasi diba yung parang siya yung magdadala sa grupo Oh my god. I don't think that any fan is like saying that at all. Never. Like, he's the one that's making that up in his mind. Mm hmm Like I think they're all good looking. I'm not, you know. And that's not just being extra. That's just the case. Like, I don't know what beauty standard the people that bash SB19 are holding, but it's a pretty high one because every single one of these guys is insanely, insanely attractive. Mm -hmm. And you cannot, you can't change my mind. It's not gonna work. I've heard it all. It's not gonna change my mind because I know what my eyes see. No matter what you tell me, you're not gonna change what my eyes see. You're not gonna change what the majority of people say about how attractive they are. You can definitely see, especially with foreign fans, we have different tastes than other people. Yeah, it's not like us as like foreigners. Not everyone likes Justin, you know? No. Like, like, all of us like somebody. Different. Yeah, that's not to say that I don't find Justin attractive. I think Justin is really, really handsome, but that doesn't mean that just because he's handsome and he looks different from the other members means anything about how they're unattractive just because he's on this other whole standard or whatever the heck these people are trying to say. Yeah. I feel like the standards held here are just so, they're so unbelievably high that it's almost not human is what it seems like to me because it's like they want SB19 or P-pop to be this whole other thing that it's like, what do you want from them? Like, what is it that would make you happy? I don't think at this point anything would make you happy. It sounds like no matter what they do, no matter how they look, you're gonna have something to say. And no matter how they sound, that's a big one here. Above all of that, what kind of question was that? Like, I don't understand yeah. the thought process behind a lot of these questions. Yeah, it's like they're trying to cause drama. Yeah, like, it's like they're like, trying to find here? issues. I don't yeah. know what positives came out of this whole, what's it called? This. Ugh, oh yeah, it's God. like I can't even think straight. And I like saying I'm glad to like clear these things up. What are you clearing up? Like I don't understand what you're getting from this. Like yeah. what answers are you trying to get? The assumptions being made about them are just completely off. The ones that are happening in their minds. Yeah, that are just like it's just so off. It makes no sense. <clears throat> I need some water. I hate to go back anymore. I don't want to watch this anymore. <clears throat> and this has never been the case. This has never been the case. That's such an awkward position to put Justin in, too, to say that. Yeah, that is, yeah. I find it crazy that Josh is the one answering that. Like, Josh is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Say. <laughs> Longer than you! Like, oh my 
my gosh. You and I wouldn't go there. I'm like, I'm going there in my mind. I mean, that was good. I was just like, I didn't even. Oh my god. I'm so, my face, I don't know how red I look right now, but I know I feel red. <laughs> Longer than you? I'm so oh pissed god. off right now. <sighs> I'm triggered, bro. I'm so triggered right now. It's like one of the best things I've heard like, in a few months. Longer than you? Oh my god. Is this the same guy asking a majority of these questions? Because it sounds like the not. same guy. It sounds like the same guy. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 Family problems, financial problems, so I have my school problems. Kaya mga gumaga alitan po sa grupo. Kaya karon na rin po lang. Kaya kwesis na rin po kami muntik magpabuhay before pa po kami mag-inis na kanta. Pero nato na lang din po kasi yung parang pagmamahal po namin sa passion. And siguro po, nag-uusap din po kami kapag masinsinan po talaga kapag may problema po kami kapit eh. Well, no, lalaki po kami na parang bihira po kasi yung parang parang ano ba, open mind, parang open chit chat nga po sa lalaki, open for rules, bihira po kasi yung parang gano'n sa lalaki. Pero kami po, tinatry po namin yung practice na for the sake of every member, at least, sabihin po namin na, ah, uh, ito mali yan, ito itama natin yan. Yung attitude mo na to, parang pinakaliwanan po namin sa isa't isa, kung ano yung tamang pala. They keep parang, each other in check. Basta yeah. po kaya. something that might trigger you even more that I know that I don't know if you know. I was told like multiple times that after this press conference they cried backstage together. Really? Yeah. I was gonna say like I really would want to know like their afterthoughts like after this whole thing ended. I don't know just what they thought about it. I don't even know what to say honestly like I don't either. I'm still triggered. I don't even want to see my face during this reaction. <laughs> I'm sure I look confused the whole time like I mean confusion yeah questions? like anger yeah I feel like throughout like most of the questions reading the stuff. I feel like most of the time my face ended up like, what? Why this question? Why these questions? I don't know what other questions might have been asked of them at this press conference and what positive things might have come out of this, but seeing this stuff, mmm. What annoys me is that, you know, the interviewers or whatever you call them, you know, they're over here like saying like, I'm just being honest and stuff. Like there's a certain point of honesty, mm -hmm. you know, you can go from being honest to just being plain out rude. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, I'm sure this, in this case it's hard because, you know, SB19 is like a famous group, but like if you really want to go in that place, then talk to them privately. Yeah. Yeah. Like not where tons of people have to hear it and not where they can't really like opt out of answering that question because yeah. I feel like a lot of these questions like you just have no right to be asking people these questions mm -hmm. the that one that they asked Stell for sure like that was just way out of line it doesn't matter his sexual orientation like that's none of your business you don't ask that unless it's given to you that's yeah. not the kind of question you ask a person especially at a press conference like that's insane 
insanely, insanely rude. That's very out of line. I feel like press in general, I don't know about Filipino press, but I think here too, like, press crosses the line often, but that's just, that's a beyond line that's like, don't cross that. There's a certain point of privacy for them too. Yeah. Like, they're still people, mm -hmm. even though... They're just more famous. Mm -hmm. For SB19, they handled this so, in such a mature way. Yeah. And that's not me being biased because, you know, I love SB19. That's just facts. Like, they handled this in a very mature way. They were very assured of what they were saying. So you know that the things that they were saying were true. It was stuff that they personally feel. It's the, the kind of things, their thoughts. It's what they think. It's not something that has been told to them. It's not something that's been rehearsed. They, these are their actual beliefs. And so I really admire them for that. They handled this so well. It's almost as if I want to apologize to them when it's yeah. like, that has nothing to do with me, but I, I'm i like so, I'm so sorry to them that these people were this way with them. Like, that's just yeah. horrible. On the press side, something that shows for me for sure on the press side is just flat out ignorance. There's so much ignorance on the press side. The one that like shows the most ignorance other than the the sexual orientation one was definitely the P-pop, K-pop question. That showed so much ignorance on that part. I don't know what you look like. I'm not even gonna say sir. I don't think you deserve the right. I'm not, I don't know what you look like person, but I'm sure you look a fool no matter what. Know what you're reporting about. Pop is pop. Learn music. If you are going to be reporting on music, no music because that is the stupidest question I ever hear ever but the way it was worded in here was just it was like king that was king of the most ignorant way to ask that question it's a stupid question it's like the respect I had for those people down there like they just lost it for me and then I gave it to SB19 because of the way they handled it yeah <laughs> they got double crowns yeah. <laughs> they're double keys <laughs> Oh, the, uh, when that guy was like, because I'm bothered. Who are you? We don't know. Who are you? Who cares if you're bothered? Who cares if you're bothered? <laughs> Sorry they're more successful than you. <laughs> I'm sure that guy's jealous. He's just jealous. He sees all... He can't look know, that good. He sees the five handsome men right there, and he's over here jealous, and he's like... Well, I'm bothered. Well, I'm sure you are bothered, okay? <laughs> On another professional level, I don't know how they handled the fact that that guy, like, asked the P-pop, K-pop question, and then Sejun answered it perfectly. Pablo, Pablo answered it perfectly. And then he went back and was like, yeah, but you sound like K-pop. It's like, did you, did you not hear you anything he yeah. just said? Because it made perfect sense yeah but that's where it goes to me believing this guy just doesn't know what music is have you ever heard music sir not sir have you ever heard music i don't want to call him sir it feels too polite well you weren't polite enough to earn that it's like i'm sorry you didn't hear what sejun said or pablo you didn't hear what pablo said so no one cares about your opinion now that your father <laughs> he answered it so like there's no more yeah. perfect way to answer that so the way that sounded this is the way that sounded to me so you're not promoting P-pop because you sound K-pop. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> and Pablo answers it perfectly. He's like, yeah. music is a universal language. And then the guy says, yeah, but you sound K-pop. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm bothered. <laughs> I can't even say anything to that. Who like, cares? Do you hear how stupid you sound? That sounds like, so you, dumb, He's bro. like trying to defend himself. Like himself, you cannot defend yourself. Pablo just got you with that. I'm sorry, but you lost. <laughs> sorry to say that to you. Sorry you have to soak that in, but you lost. I feel like whenever Pablo was answering that question, that guy was probably all like... If I was Pablo, I would have been laughing inside. I'll take another one of those drinks. <laughs> yeah, but you sound K-pop. <laughs> like... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now, we're, now we're turning it around. We're coming up with our comeback. Now we're just making fun of him. <laughs> I've gone from the anger to, what? to just roasting. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a couple things straight here. We'll start from the beginning. Stell's sexual orientation is not your business anyways. Even though he cleared it up for you, which he did not have to do that. Mm -hmm. That's one. Two, 
learn the difference between P-pop and K-pop and all the other pops of the world. Pop is pop. Third point, nobody has ever felt like one member holds this group up. No, oh, yeah. There's possibly very few that actually have ever believed that and felt that way, but we don't claim them. <laughs> 18, no. We all know. We respect all the members yeah. because that's the way they would want it to be too. And it's not even just because that's the way they would want it to be. All the members deserve to be respected. Fourth, and most importantly, SB19 is going to outlast you. <laughs> They're gonna be a group always and forever. Always and forever. I'm still triggered. I gotta go watch some happy SV19 stuff now. SV19 deserves so much respect for like just in general but definitely after this kind of video. I cannot believe they went through this. I knew that they went through some kind of horrible like press stuff before but this is so much worse than I could have ever anticipated. How respectful they were answering back. They handled it so well. I guess the good thing that comes out of this maybe it made them stronger. Oh, I'm sure. Lesson learned. Don't listen to what everybody has to say about you, SB19, because you've proven all of them wrong. Yeah. I just want to tell SB19 that we love you, 18 loves you, and... That's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry about the haters or the people that question you, because... Yeah. Forget what everybody else They're just else awesome. Says. Yeah. Bye to them. Yeah. Who cares if they're bothered? No one cares. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel down below. Click the notification bell because we do post often. And we will see you next time here on K-Pop 6. Bye!